Hey, welcome back for another collection update. I uh, went to Scratch and Spin today, uh, specifically for one album, but not just for that album. I uh, picked up the new Judas Priest Invincible Shield. I have resisted all week since it came out last Friday of not streaming it. I wanted to listen to it straight on the vinyl first, and that will be what I will do later tonight. And as far as I know, they only had like one version of the album there, which was the um, red vinyl. And only, um, it was not a deluxe, deluxe version, although for the price it should have been. Um, so this is just the one with the standard 11 songs. I do at some point plan on getting the CD that has uh, the three bonus tracks on it as well so got the new judas priest judas priest um is the band that i have the most records for and i believe this would be number 14 if i'm not mistaken <clears throat> the second one i'm going to show you is from a death metal band called skeletal remains this album is called fragments of the ageless they're a band I've gotten to within the last few months. I really like um, their overall sound. I do not remember where they're from. And I do not know where this falls under discography. It says released this year, so I guess this is the new, the new album. And we'll see what we got here for... A nice orange and red swirl. Really don't know what the title of the album had to be in a death metal font, but that's what they chose, I guess. Uh, the next three... I really was trying to stay of, away from buying any more thrash albums because as if you can see directly behind me right there, that is the thrash section of my collection. And it is about to the almost overflowing point. But three albums were there, one of which I didn't think was probably going to be there too long. I was actually surprised it was there for the second time I went to the store. The Suicidal Tendencies, The Art of Rebellion. So they're more of like a thrash crossover. Um, so this will add to my suicidal collection. And it looks like it's on a standard black. It was there last time I went. Um, but last paycheck was mortgage paycheck. So it was just not quite um, for the price that I wanted to at that point. The next one I've seen quite a few times. Exodus is Tempo of the Damned. This was the uh, record that came back to uh, Zetro on vocals after he left after the Force of Habit album. And they, of course, have brought in Paul Bailoff. They did a live album with him, but then he ended up dying, I believe. I want to say a stroke or something like that was what he ended up dying from. They brought uh, Zetro back in for, kind of for this one-off album because um, he would eventually be replaced by Rob Dutes for three albums, and then he's been back for the last two. And that's what that looks like. Second will look just like that too. Yeah. So Exodus is Tempo of the Damned. This was their uh, 2004 release.
All right, next up is the other thrash album that I also got. Uh, Hazardous Mutation from Municipal Waste. I believe this is like their first or second album. Um, I got a chance to see these guys in uh, 2021 as part of the bill uh, with the headliner being um, High on Fire. These guys are from uh, Richmond, Virginia. And to date, they only have two of the original members. So I've gotten quite a few of theirs. I don't think I have too many more left to get. For what they already have out and luckily i've been able to find all of these actually all of the municipal waste ones at scratch and spin and the last uh record from the day is the album that got me into this band the symphonic black metal band cradle of filth cruelty and the beast a concept album of about um elizabeth bathory We'll see what we got this on. A nice clear vinyl. Actually, first time I heard of this band was they did a cover of how the BDI name and it was on the um, the version that I had bought overseas came with two discs, came with a a, a um, the second disc had uh, some covers and stuff on it. Uh, side 4 also has these same um, songs that were on that. It has the How It Be Thy Name cover. And I actually heard the cover first before I bought this album. I heard it on a, um, a compilation CD that came with a music magazine that was celebrating, I believe at the time, the uh, 20th um, anniversary of Iron Maiden forming or something like that. And I bought it in France, so obviously I couldn't read shit that was in the magazine. Um, but like a lot of um, European music magazines, they usually come with some kind of CD uh, sampler in there. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So six records also have a few CDs as well. My wife bought a, a couple of them. Um, the two she bought, she bought a Solid Gold Hits for the Beastie Boys. And so this this has, uh, So What You Want, Brass Monkey, Check It Out, No Sleep Till Brooklyn, Hey Ladies, Pass the Mic, An Open Letter to New York City, Root Down, Shake Your Rump, Intergalactic, Sure Shot, Body Moving, Triple Trouble, Sabotage, and Fight for Your Right. Yeah. And then the self-titled debut from Hell Yeah. show this next one first so my first christian metal cd and second um album from mortification blood world mortification is a christian uh death metal slash grindcore band that i've been into for quite some time and then i got a couple from fear factory uh D digimortal and soul of a new machine <clears throat> And then this this next one um, is Forces of Evil with the album Black Empire. Um, so two of the guys in this band are uh, Michael Diener and Hank Sherman from Merciful Fate. They also did have a band called Diener and Sherman, or maybe a Sherman and Diener, I don't remember. And I want to say they had two full lengths and an EP, but this is um, a totally different band. And I have not... Um, listened to this before so hoping this will be uh, pretty good knowing the kind of stuff that they write so six records and uh, six CDs so a total of 12 albums bought today and no I'm not going to tell you how much got spent today so but thanks for watching the video and God bless